Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen of the press, um, this one is not about the ODM. Uh, this is about the doctor strike. We have reviewed the fact that members of the 7,000 strong Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentists Union have been on strike since March 13th to demand better pay. And the strike has disrupted healthcare in the country's 57 public hospitals. We are of the view that the situation is moving from bad to worse and soon we will have a full-blown crisis in which all health workers will down their tools. Already, clinical officers have joined. I therefore have a personal appeal to both the government and the doctors. After very wide consultations, I am convinced that the doctors and all other health workers currently on strike will be able to craft a return to work formula and resume duty if the government were to meet their demands halfway while negotiations continue. We therefore appeal to the government to address itself to the following three broad areas as a way of progress towards ending this strike. One, pay for medical interns. For the last seven years, interns have been earning 206,000 shillings per month. These are actually the doctors running level four and many other public hospitals. There is no way an employer can reduce the salaries of employees midstream. That distorts everything in the life of the employee. I therefore ask the government to reinstate <coughs> the 206,000 shilling pay for interns until the next CBA negotiation, which is around the corner, kicks in. During that next round of negotiations, both parties will put their cases on the table for consideration. Two, fees and salaries for doctors pursuing further studies. Counties are supposed to pay salaries to do of doctors who are enrolled for further studies like master's degree, while the Ministry of Health is supposed to pay fees. My understanding is that while counties have kept their side of the arrangement, the Ministry of Health has failed to do so since 2018. As a result, a number of doctors cannot compete, complete their studies and graduate, graduate and graduate because of fees owed. And as they retake courses, counties continue, counties have stopped their salaries because those doctors have overstayed in the college. I urge the Ministry of Health to immediately engage the doctors and their learning institutions with a view to clearing the fee balances and enable the doctors to complete their studies. The ministry must also engage counties to resolve the issue of pay for doctors who have overstayed in the college through mistakes not of their own making. The ministry should also work out a plan for paying stipends to doctors who forgo county salaries and ministry fees and privately fund their higher education while offering services in public hospitals. Such hassles should be supported. Three, address the problem of doctors on contract. I have been shocked to learn that some of the, our high-end hospitals are hiring doctors on as short as a month, two month or three month contracts. This is wrong. 
the ministry is failing to stand up for the doctors to prevent their <laughs> exploitation and exposure to the unfair practices. This ministry must lay down the rules that ensure fair, respectful, and sustainable labor uh, practices by both the public and private health providers. Four, equal pay for equal work. Doctors are complaining about a, a free-for-all system where some employers have the, the free hand to decide what to pay. The result has been a very unequal system where doctors hired to do the same job experience huge variation in salaries. The medical profession is too important to be managed so casually. The ministry must intervene for the doctors. Five, and procedural termination of services. I have terminated contracts of the doctors for one reason or another to reconsider their actions and engage the doctors. The counties that have done so or are in the process of doing so know themselves. I request them to reconsider their steps. I believe that the above actions, if taken in consultation with the union, will see us avert the crisis that's building up in the health sector and pave ways for less antagonistic engagement. This is a crisis that has uh, serious ramifications. We want this crisis to be resolved. We have not spoken before, but we want the government to take notice that we cannot remain silent for a longer time when this is persisting. We ask them to act now. And if not, they don't, of course they know that the consequences will be very grave indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.